Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I finally filmed another video. It's been like a year. Today I did a soft, natural, glowing makeup look. If you want to see how I got this, just keep on watching. Alright, let's do some makeup. Having your face nice and primed is going to make your makeup go on a lot more flawless and look a lot nicer. So I did already put some moisturizer on and I got a sample of this in my Sephora. Uh, my Sephora box last time. I'm gonna put a little bit more on because that was earlier and I think I wiped off a little bit. And just smooth all that up. I did already do my eyebrows because they take forever. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. I am gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish. I wanna keep my face nice and hydrated and I'm gonna put this all over smooth out the redness, those pores, and fine lines. It's just gonna blur the skin. And then, for me personally, my problematic area are these fine lines on my forehead. I hate them. I do like the professional. So, if you see this wrinkle, let's look at this nice, ugly wrinkle. And I'm gonna smooth that right into it. I will do a little bit right in here because I'm starting to get those little little itty bitty wrinkles so extra coverage there I'll do a little extra coverage on my chin and on my nose so this is more of my spot treatment kind of primer I've got a damp beauty blender here also my favorite it's from pixie it is the makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea and it smells so good so I'm gonna go ahead Ate it but it's so refreshing and it smells so good and I want to keep my face as hydrated as possible today's foundation I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Pro Glow because I want nice glowy looking skin so I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand I'm gonna take the small side of the beauty blender and then I'm just gonna start spreading that around my face just dab it on Try and get in a little closer so you could see. Let's grab some concealer and I'm gonna do a triangle right underneath the eye and then we'll do a little bit down the nose to get that nose highlight. Cupid's bow, little chin highlight there and a little just a little forehead highlight. And then, same thing, same blender. Just dab it out. The reason I like to use the naked one is because I am going for a nice natural glowy look and I feel like it's got good coverage but it's not overly thick. I'm looking super pale. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna fix that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bake this wrinkle. So I'm gonna set it with some Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna really pounce it and make sure any excess product is gone. I'm gonna dip the end of the sponge and whoop, just press it into that ugly line on my forehead. And then I will do just a tag on that chin. And I'm gonna flip it over to get underneath my eye and set that. Bake under there just a little bit. And good look like my nose, cause sometimes makeup separates right there. While that's sitting, let's moisturize my lips. I'm gonna use the Best Damn Beauty Mask from Nicole Guerrero's line really really thick <laughs> I'm gonna use the Too Faced Primed Poreless Skin Smoothing Pressed Powder Got it? You got that? Big fluffy brush Pour a little bit in there and I'm just gonna tap lightly and bring it down here just a little bit just a little bit and then we'll go ahead and brush this excess powder off 
Now look at that line. I mean, it's there, but you can barely see it right now. This is a Morphe E4. I like to use it to contour slash bronze up the face. I'm gonna use Bahama Mama. Swirl that in there. I'm gonna start from the back of, like, kind of like the top of my ear, and then just bring it down right there. Starting from the back, working little circles and slowly bringing it down. I don't want to look too orange. Gotta make sure everything blends. You gotta make those funny faces. Like, it's just part of it. You just, you gotta make them. Can't be all extra pale up in that forehead. It's just gonna bring everything together, give my face some color. Real quick, the jawline, that double chin, to make it go away. We don't want it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that fluffy brush. Let's make sure there's no harsh bronzer lines, no weird line down here. I'm gonna use Laura Geller. This is called Pink Grapefruit. It's a nice, rosy, slightly shimmery, like rosy pink kind of color. So taking my Morphe B4, I'm gonna take that and then circle it right on the apples of my cheeks and then just blend it back a little bit. All right, now it's time to bring back that glowy, glowy skin. So we're gonna refresh the face with this. Bring back that hydration, make all that powderiness dissolve. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. Cause I like that intense highlight, so. And I'm gonna use this. I just take it on my finger and dab it on because I don't want a big streak. Starting on cheekbone here. and up to my temple. And I'll just dab it out on the tip of the nose, a little bit down the bridge. Just a dab, 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 dab on the chin, barely, barely. Little Cupid's bow here. And I'm gonna go over that with the tart exposed highlighter. This one is super pretty. It's just like a nice light, like champagne kind of color. It's so pretty. And my favorite highlighting brush is over here, somewhere. It's a Morphe, uh oh. I think it's a Morphe 501. I'm gonna swirl that and go right over that cheekbone highlight and watch it really pop. It's just gonna bring it all to life. And I use a circular motion to blend that all in. Dab over the nose, down the bridge, keep it, keep its bow there. A little bit on my chin just to make my face glow. And then I do a little dab right over my eyebrows. Just cause when the light hits your face at these high points, that's where you wanna glow. Once again, with my little favorite fluffy. This is a real technique, multitask brush. Just a nice big fluffy. Go ahead and make sure all of that blends right on in. It's time to move on to the eyeballs. Start by using one of my favorite uh, eye primers, and that's a MAC Paint Pot. I use the color Painterly. It's pretty much like a flesh tone. I can use a brush. I'm gonna use my finger because I have no nails and I can do that now. Having no nails makes doing my makeup like a million times easier. Just gonna blend that all over the eyelid. I'm gonna use the Tartiest Pro. Look how pretty. So I'm gonna use this one right here just to set my eyes, starting with a fluffy brush. This is a real technique. So I'm gonna take the classic, which is just like a flush 
kind of color and set my whole eyelid. I'm gonna take a Morphe M433. It's just a light, little light fluffy. And I think I am gonna take Chic. Using this peach color, I'm gonna blend right into the crease area and up and it's like a transition and just do circular motions over the whole thing this is a Luxie 231 it's a small tapered blending brush I want this look to be really skin tony so maybe I'll just keep with these and use the next one this is Profesh and we're gonna take this a little bit more just along the crease. We're gonna go back again to the one we just used and blend those two colors together. And then back again to the original fluffy and blend out any harsh lines. Took a little bit more of the crease color. I'm using little circular motions, really tiny circular motions to blend that in. And then we just repeat the whole blending. Underneath the eye, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna use a, like a pencil dome brush. This one was from NYX. I'm gonna take the peachy color, the first one. And we're gonna pop that right underneath the eye. Just to smoke it out a little bit. Go in with the second color that I used, Profesh, and do that again. Trying to stay on the outer corner of the eye. Using a little flat shadow brush. Spray the brush. I'm gonna run it into the highlighter, swirl it, and then I'm gonna dab that on the inner corners and the brow. And I'm also going to run that right over the lid and then blend it in with the same brush that we used in the crease. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of liner. Tattoo liner from Kat Von D. The Trooper one is probably my all-time favorite wing liner. There are a lot, but this one makes it fairly simple. So we're going to throw in a little bit of a wing. brown smoky eye mascara because I'm trying to use up the makeup that I have and if I put false lashes on I don't feel like it makes a huge difference this one works okay it's not my favorite it's not my least favorite these are some of my favorite lashes they are the salon perfect six one four I believe I'm going to go ahead and take some of this lash glue, throw it right across the lash band, and then I'm going to let it dry. While the lashes are drying, let's go ahead and do some lipstick. I'm going to line my lips using Milani Nude. And then I'm going to fill that in using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Crush. I'm obsessed with this color. This is like my probably my all-time favorite. All right, the lashes should be nice and tacky. I'm gonna take some tweezers, grab them right in the middle, and apply those on. I go back with the mascara and. Blend the natural lashes into these. And now my natural glowy makeup is done. Thanks for watching.